It's commencement time at Stony Brook. The weather is warming, businesses are opening, and we are hugging our loved ones and celebrating their accomplishments after months of separation. It may feel like we're emerging from a kind of cocoon. With summer around the corner, I'm sure everyone is looking forward to a well-deserved break from screens for a few months, or maybe just a few days. With 400 million minutes of Zoom sessions logged on West Campus alone this year, I really can't blame you. But I want to ask you to watch just one more video. Because if you hadn't realized, Sea Wolves, we've been through a lot this year. And as a historian, I thought it would be particularly meaningful to look at some of the artifacts and evidence that captured the incredible things we've achieved. 71% of classes fully online. Our faculty pushed remote learning to its highest potential with dedication, experimentation, creativity, and even humor. 145,000 COVID tests. That's how many times we've endured swabs for the sake of our Stony Brook community's collective health, with student health services working tirelessly to administer tests. Students demonstrated great responsibility in keeping campus safe, and our staff members' committed presence ensured that our facilities were clean and functioning under many new guidelines. 10,000 COVID patients, 350,000 vaccinations, and 130 COVID trials. Stony Brook healthcare professionals and Stony Brook University Hospital worked around the clock for us and our Long Island neighbors. Two million for student scholarship support. That's what was raised just two weeks ago at the Stars of Stony Brook Gala. I will never forget the generosity of our alumni, donors, and community in a time of critical need. 15 million in contract savings. That's what our work together on the Strategic Budget Initiative has already achieved. More than 300 faculty and staff engaged in the work of five task forces to understand and address our financial challenges. And thousands more participated in surveys, town halls, and campus conversations. As our nation has grappled with systemic racism and social inequality, our students, staff, and faculty have demanded racial justice and worked to promote equity and inclusivity within their own departments and organizations. Stony Brook Libraries celebrated the acquisition of the largest African-American video oral history collection in the nation. Our women in science and engineering program made strides towards closing the gender gap in STEM. There will be over 400 additional women in the Stony Brook Engineering Program over the next three years. Our Diversity Professional Leadership Network saw its largest cohort to date, working with underserved students to provide professional mentorship and hands-on work experience. The Renaissance School of Medicine celebrated a record number of 149 students accepted to residency programs. And the Stony Brook Foundation's Discovery Prize competition returned after a year's hiatus to award 200,000 toward the groundbreaking, curiosity-driven research of our early career faculty. The list goes on, but suffice it to say that spring 2021 has become almost synonymous with renewal and hope. Thanks to each and every one of you for making this possible. I can't wait to meet you all in person. Until then, Sea Wolves, have a wonderful and healthy summer.